A permanent secretary on the Sister Isle of Carrick, who Aunt P.T. Martinique, has been accused of using his power to destabilize workers there. Five females have been relieved of their positions in recent weeks, according to President of the Public Workers Union, Brian Grimes. I've had disturbing reports from the Sister Isle of what we can only quite know at this point. as blatant victimization. From the end of July to now, we have received those reports, and they are coming in weekly. Public Relations Officer Daisy Hazard also vented her dissatisfaction. If we were to look across this society, and Brother Brian spoke to several regulations, quoted several pieces of law, and it appears in firing summarily, Women, workers who have been on the job for decades, also quoted several pieces of regulations. Now, so today we are saying, address the matter in Kiariku and address it swiftly. Grimes pointed out that this is not in accordance with the NDC's campaign promise. He claims that those individuals had no previous case brought against them that warrants this move. Nothing on their part. If I have to quote SRO 27, which is the Public Service Regulation, Section 34, if there is any grievance against a particular worker, they must have the opportunity to defend themselves. They must have the opportunity to see their files. This is in the law. Now, what we are seeing here is clothed in malice, is clothed in mischief, and it is very, very unfortunate. These acts, these terrorist acts, against these women under his stewardship must be correct the union will not stand by it we cannot stand by it GBN contacted Minister for Karaku and PT Martinic Affairs and Local Government, Honorable Tevin Andrew, who responded to the claims, saying he is shocked by the union's utterances since the union did not meet with and held discussions with them. Minister Andrew added that those workers are not public service appointed workers. He promises to provide an update to the public in short order. Christina John. GBN News.